SUV all black going Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a logo like Sicko. I've titled the video How to Make a Y2K Logo Like Sicko, but in case you didn't know, the Sicko logo is just a remake of the Bjork logo. So, really, it all falls back to Bjork, but I decided to call it Sicko for the sake of the video. Step one, we're starting with the Bjork font. So somebody's made a free Bjork font, which I'll have in the description, which is actually pretty solid, but the font by itself doesn't really cut it as a logo. As you can see, the font by itself doesn't have the same energy as one that you've customized. So today I'm going to show you how to turn the Bjork font into a wavy Y2K logo using the original Bjork slash Sicko logos to inspire us. I've also dropped the symbols with transparent backgrounds in a pack in the description which will make the whole process a lot easier. I made this symbol pack after recording the video so you'll see me copy and pasting elements of the original logos into my logo which was a bit messy but you won't have to do that because now you've got the pack. To get things going I started using the font and then preparing the logo, cutting bits up and moving them around, trying to get an image in my head of how I wanted the logo to look. And don't worry, like I said it's going to be pretty messy at first, but towards the end, once everything is aligned nicely, we'll be using the pen tool to draw the final logo really smooth and crisply. Crisply? That needs to be a word for real. Once you've got the basics of your logo down, you'll want to add the diagonal strokes that you see poking out of the side of the logos and possibly the floating symbols above the letters as well as that's what gives this logo so much character and personality. I did a lot of things with this logo that I didn't decide to keep in the final cut. For example, I made the S look like a dollar sign but decided at the end that doesn't work. That's really important just to kind of mess around and have fun with it try different things but as long as you're using the Bjork font and you have the diagonal lines it's going to resemble the original logo which has a really hard aesthetic. I think this style of logo is really sick it's one of my favorite Y2K inspired logos ever which is why I wanted to drop a tutorial on it I haven't really seen a tutorial on a logo like this so I thought I'd jump on YouTube and make it happen. So there's a lot of trial and error, a lot of cutting things up. It looks pretty messy, but you guys are going to have this symbol pack, which means you can just drag and drop the high quality assets straight onto your text so that you can get the little kind of wings that the logo's got. As you can see, it's pretty damn messy at the moment. So up in a moment, we're going to be making the whole logo transparent and then using the pen tool to redraw the entire logo, make it look really nice. You can see the dollar there. Like I said, I didn't end up using that little dollar symbol. But it's good to try things like that, give it some kind of unique touch that will make your logo stand out. There's not too much more to teach now guys, the main thing is just to keep taking inspiration from the original logos and you'll need a basic understanding of the pen tool so that you can make the logo smooth once you've done all the editing. You can see what I'm doing here, the logo is now very transparent and I'm drawing over it so that I get a final high quality logo. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the time lapse so you can see the logo come into completion and then right at the end you're going to see a sheet with all of the different colorways and logo variations to inspire you. And until the next video guys, that's Griffin GFX signing out. Goodbye.